coming through from Bat Boom. I feel like they've got the answers to the Bat Rider through the um, Hunter. Speaking of Timber, going for a little bit of a dive onto GBK. Just because first doesn't have blink. blink leveled up. Can I get him range for the whirling death with level three? It's going to be a lot of damage. You might just wait for the Chakram dive under the T2 tower, and there's our kills as Melarine. Picks up first blood. It will go down though. Toronto Tokyo is going to be able to move on over. Get some stolen wisdom as well. Even save once to try and sneak in to gather a little bit of experience. To do it in the bottom lane as well as so bad doing his best to try and prevent any sort of trade for that mid lane. He won't be able to do it though. Now this tower is going to continue to take a decent chunk of damage. Being more top lane pure to solo RP onto Violent, but Violent's going to be able to turn it back around. Omni Slash with a couple of crits. Violent just gets the kill pure very close to making it away. It's a big solo kill. Violent being able to catch up now. Not too good of a time. And uh, he is really just opening up the map in a massive way as they go for another dive onto Nightfall. Toronto Tokyo is still in the level 5 as well. He needs one creep to get the 6. Looks like it's not going to matter though. Nightfall out to the north. Toronto Tokyo to the south. Sansa will be able to TP back, but the Ursa Bear will not escape. It's so bad. Yoinks that with the Frost Blast. Got a big creep wave. A little bit of extra pressure on. You know, he wants to be the one to scale. He honestly he feels like one of the biggest answers that you're going to have to Melreed in this early ish parts of the game. Man. Not going to be able to do much though before you get into that Dragon Lance. The damage coming through from this timber is just far too much. No. Um, you what? Uh, Alright, Vaja just ravaged Toronto Tokyo. He He's going to be hunted down. They saw him TP top, played in the lane. Melrin Hellscream. They're going to be there with a the wraparound. Beautiful flame break as well. Now he is pretty close to the T1 town. They've got the global silence at the ready. Even Pure is going to try and swing on over as well. But the first ultimate's going to be used. The secondary to follow up as well. But it's just on a measly Bat Rider. Timbersaw now can freely jump away. There's going to be no, no way they can cancel. Pure just out of range there with a the skewer. So I have to be feeling pretty good, right? Ursus hasn't been contested since he's picked up this Battle Fury. Very close to the BKB now. Melrine? I'm just gonna try and go for save. This Enchantress is starting to output a decent chunk of damage with the treads of the Dragon Lance. So Melrine, I have to start to respect. Even the Scepter's now completed from GPK as well. Melrine, has he gone a bit too far? No one else is starting to rotate top. Even just a, a straight chain frost from so bad on the solo, but pure. There we go. That's what they've been waiting for. Melrine just to step a little bit too far forward, and now so bad. He's going to get chased down as well as Shabet Boom. They've been farming for the entirety of the game. And finally, they see an opportunity to get a couple of kills. And they will capitalize straight away a double for GPK. I'm just seeing where Ursa is off the back of all this. Still looking to farm. I was thinking maybe with them standing right. See if they can maybe force a TP back. But they want to go on forward. They want to try and catch them out. They don't have the greatest and catch will. themselves. And they will. They're going to get the Magnus. Forced out to be. Can be out of pure. But no TP. So there's going to be zero escape. He's going to be forced to skew away, but the lasso is there, stopping him short. He'll even drop an RP pure. All right, 120 seconds with no reverse polarity. He's down for 60 seconds as well. And Amiga, they can look to walk down to prevent that lasso drag back into a mass amount of damage. A lot of the time you want to catch a core, but this is the sort of situation where you would look at the mood to be able to get to the there we go. Last one to the only slash. The global's too late. Violent. Shreds apart. Nightfall. Now they'll turn to save as well. But a quick four stuff. Get save. Back inside the base. But an Amiga. I mean, Nightfall is... They were putting a lot of pressure on him in the early stage of the game. But he was doing a very good job to avoid him for the past couple of minutes. Or finally, they've been able to slow him down. Now top lane, though. Pure GPK in combination together. Going to make the attempt onto Hellscream, but the Eels will buy some valuable seconds. TPs are starting to come out. One person did cancel theirs, though, so it's just Melrine hunting, too. What's the call going to be from them? GPK and Pure. Can just below him as well. Be able to pick up for potentially the Silencer. Just in that extra 7.75 seconds of the global. Hellscream's got a good spot. 
think they got a glimpse oh, of Nightfall. Oh, that's going to jump, though. But the RP's here. But the instant you accept to stop the damage fall from Nightfall. Now they're going to turn around with the Omnisash as well. It's again. Violet just tears apart the Earth. And now they've got the Ravage as well. Over to the east side. Ball. That's perfect from Vajra. Namigra aren't done just there. Save will get cute with the Hurricane Pike. But it will not matter. Once again, they're quick on the fingers. Namiga. Zero casualties. What a team fight from them. It was the perfect use of the Yule Step. Stun, and we saw when they Yule up Ursa, there was just no damage fall up in that huge RP. Yeah, I think it was the uh, the bat right of the court. If he was hanging out on the left side, playing a little bit more on the high they ground. They're going to turn it. Yeah, wait, 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 GPK, and now Nightfall. That's a game. Oh, it's a crumble. Gee, it's a drop. Namiga. They're going to be able to take game one in goddamn convincing fashion. A beautiful performance from them. Puts them in the driver's seat now for our first series of the night. And we know this means a lot to Namiga as well, right? Like, th this isn't a game that...